quick look at gradients. Gradients and um, gradients with invisible edges are really simple in Affinity Photo. Let me show you. Here I have an image that I've pulled into the main thing. Just showing there, there's the image with a photo in it. And I've got it showing, it's on a plain white background. Tick that so it's in place. Now you can see right next to that tick, there's a color bar, color with a bar of white down the middle. Now this is a gradient that I've applied. So with that selected, let me hit the gradient fill tool. And the fill tool, oddly enough, I don't know why it's called that, but it's called a fill tool. And it actually applies the gradient. Now I haven't got a gradient applied there at the moment because I wanted to show you what comes up. There's the yellow larger dot on the left and the yellow smaller dot on the right. A couple of graduations in between and a smaller white dot right on the girl's skirt. Now the image itself is quite plain at the moment, but let me turn on the layer. There's the layer turned on and you can see the gradient I've applied. Thick yellow on the left and I had it up that side there, that one selected. Thick yellow on the right. No opacity applied, but the two bars in the middle, the graduation bars, I can move that a little to the right. I can move that one a little to the left. And it moves where the yellow fades in and fades out. Now yellow, I've got there because it's very noticeable. But let's try something else, shall we? We'll select the yellow dot on the left. And we'll go up to the color, color wheel in this case, and I'll pull the opacity right across to zero. And you can see the color gradient now only applies on the right. It's actually invisible on the left. And I can bring that back in slowly. There's a slight haze appearing there now, and that color appears over there. Let me just move that out the way for the moment. You can see it's not quite so bright. So let's select the one on the right. Still the big yellow dot, but the one on the right, because it's slightly larger, that tells you it's now the one that's active. It's 100% opacity. Let's reduce the opacity of that one a little bit. Down to about 40, 45, that looks pretty good. That's about the same as the other. Now that's got a slightly yellow cast across the whole image. Well, apart from the center where the girl is. Now, of course, you can make that any color you like. There it is, slightly red, slightly pink. Well, hmm, that's odd. Slightly blue, slightly light blue, slightly green. What colour was it originally? Yellow. And there we go. There's the yellow colours down the bottom there in the swatches. And I could select one of those. That way I've got the exact colour that I had before. That's really all there is to it. Now let me pop that down there for a moment. That's the linear gradient. Let's see what happens if we change it from linear to elliptical. Well, nothing much at the moment because it's set. We what, it, what I wanted there was linear. Now, do you want all that back again? Highlight the yellow there, go up to there, turn the opacity back up to 100%. Select the yellow dot on the left hand side. Go back to the color wheel, turn the opacity up to 100% on that side. And there's that yellow. Well, it's an orangey color. So let's go back to that. We've got orange across the girl who's almost centered. We can put another color in the center if we like by selecting that middle dot. Well, the dot that's not quite in the middle. And you can see that it's a... A chalky white there at the moment. Let's change that, shall we? Give it a slightly green cast. 
And there you go. That's changed the whole thing again. We'll step back and remove that because it doesn't look really nice, does it? Go back to there. Now let's go back to there and change that yellow back to the orange, the same as the other side. And there you have it. Almost. Because what I've decided to do is go to there, go to there, and change that right out so the it's clear on that side. So you can see how you can fade into a colour from a standard image. And you can do that with just about any image you want to put on there. And all it is, is that rectangle drawn over the entire image. And you use the fill tool. This is Affinity Photo. Use the fill tool to colour it or make it transparent as you like. Too easy. So, very short clip. Thanks for watching. And I hope you get a lot of fun out of experimenting with this because you can use any of those linear, solid, none, elliptical, radial and build all sorts of interesting images. There we go. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.